Some women from America actually called me a pick me, stupid, ugly, and the bottom of the barrel just because I want to cater to my husband and see him as a trophy. Well, let me tell you something, ladies. If you see catering to a man as oppressing and disrespectful and degrading to a woman, plenty of other women from other countries will cater to the average American man that is not good enough for you and that you supposedly don't want. By the way, I am not the only non-American woman who just enjoys catering to her American black husband. There are plenty of us over here. I just happen to be the one who actually is sitting in front of the camera and is speaking up about it. And ladies, if you want to have the privilege to be the woman of the household one day, to be in a successful, long-lasting, loving, caring, supporting, and providing relationship, make sure you skip the mindset that the woman in the next video has. Because if you have her mindset, she's talking about a video that I had made a couple of months ago. And in that video, I talked about how I treated my boyfriend back in the early 2000s when he came to Germany and visited me. Let him know, look, I adore you. So femininity had nothing to do with it. You was just a trick. It's easy to get a man when you foot in the bill. You, you fly him out. You buy him everything under the sun. You cook, clean, and pop. Honey, that is called hot. Let's stop it. Let's stop it. Oh. Listen. I'll say this. we get you in here, Rockwell. She gonna say, y'all, they think, oh my God, it's a lot. Femininity. That is feminine uh, being hospi hospitable, if you will. And if it's so easy, why don't y'all do it? That's my gripe. She said, oh, because you just buying him things and throwing wop. That's how you got Y'all do it then. My mom is an immigrant from a country not very far from Germany. And I have a lot of German women in my family. My godmother is German. And I have always said that German women love black men. I, I don't know not one German woman that is not married to an FBA uh, man. Uh, and yeah, they cook, they clean, they don't complain. Uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't see a problem with anything that she's saying. And I even got called to pick me in the chat, you know, and I'm wondering, like, what is so bad about being picked? Like, don't you want to be picked? Isn't that why you're single to any woman calling another woman to pick me? You're single because you're not being chosen. It's, it's not you. You're saying it's single by your choice, but it's actually the market's choice to not make you a married woman. You know, this young lady with the snatched lace front looks beautiful. Like if I saw her out, you know, talking about this German woman, I'd be like, oh, my gosh, she got it going on. She is fly. But as soon as she opened her mouth, it's just trash, trash, trash. Like, where did you get that this lady was just popping it and, and tricking and all of this? Where did you get that from? It's like it's they have language. to make it bad so that they can dog it, you know? Yeah. It's weird. It's so weird. Like, the goal is to be chosen by a man of your dreams. Yeah. I want to be picked, period. <laughs> Period. I want to be picked. Like, I don't I don't see nothing wrong with that. And I don't what I'm doing is not unnatural to what I want. Like, I'm not doing it because a man is telling me, Raquel, cook for me every day. Raquel, right. I'm doing it because I see the value that he sees in it. And I want to keep giving him value and having him see the value in me, the value in what we're working for and right. how we're raising our ch children. Like Heathen Queen said, sitting down at the table, the value in me telling my son, go make the table, your father's on the way home for dinner, right. or you clean the table, clear the table and take the trash out your so your father doesn't have to tell you so that we're all working to right. make the family a cohesive, healthy environment like what the fuck what's wrong with y'all women <laughs> get picked. it's beautiful right. like i get two paychecks i get i get a lot i get wonderful holidays I get <laughs> vacations. those vacations y'all love so much that y'all only take with y'all broke ass dusty ass 
girlfriends that y'all end up having to pay the bill for when y'all take them out of town? Because I know about them trips. Some of your girlfriends be broke as hell. All they can do is afford their string bikini from Rainbow and their weave from the Yaki store. Don't, don't, don't do that. Like y'all really be on here trying me and other women that are happy with their husbands calling them a pick me. Like it's something wrong with us. No, it's something wrong with you. That's why you haven't been chosen, period. <laughs> facts. All oh, facts. Tell them our court, they want those life experiences. They wouldn't be going on vacation with their husband. They man, they don't know nothing about that feeling. It's sign language. That's what it is. You will pick me, this and that. Just how men get sign language, so do you women now. Yeah, y'all turn y'all back on the sister code. Y'all get the same treatment as our men. Uh, congratulations, y'all all home wanted posters. <laughs> pick me. We got to dispel myths about black women are the most desired in porn, because that's not true. <laughs> uh, we got to dispel the myth that... Uh, all these women are like 120 or whatever, and most of them are 300 pounds. And uh, we got to stop with uh, when we see these women, just like the last lady. Only poor men are going to reach out to that woman today because we live in a push button society. And uh, if a man has money, he can push a button and he can get what he needs and want. And uh, another thing I want to put out there, and this is uh, a reason a lot of women don't get dates with a lot of the black men that are six, five or whatever. There are clubs or hidden clubs or whatever, where some of these guys, if they're single or whatever, there's a lot of white women there or whatever. They just go and have sex and uh, it's done and they go home. And that's been going on for decades. Hospitality and competing for your man. You see the way the man looks? He's a 10 out of 10, at least to me. And I know that there are a lot of women out there who like the way my husband looks. You know, I just know it for a fact because I see women looking when we are out together. But long story short, and what I really wanted to say is hospitality is something that a lot of women need to apply into their relationship again. Because what is wrong with being nice to a man? What is wrong with competing to a man? So yes, he came to Germany and I showed him everything that I could. I covered all of the bills. You know why? Because he was a guest in my country. He was a guest in my country and I wanted him to be as comfortable as possible. So right from the beginning, he didn't have to pay for anything. It's called hospitality and competition. Who found an average black man? That's what you call him. An average black man from America bought him any and everything he could possibly want, even things he didn't think he wanted. You wait on him hand and foot. And you had the nerve to come on here and say, it was easy because black women don't do nothing. We ain't doing that. Let me know in the comment section, everyone, if you agree with following statement. The average modern Western woman just doesn't want to put in any effort into a relationship. They don't want to put in that work in a relationship. They don't want to contribute what is necessary as a woman in a relationship. They don't want to invest in a man. And I'm not talking about that financial investment. I'm talking about emotionally and mentally, okay, and whatever needs to get done at home. Instead of that, you have all these women running around and all they want to provide is themselves, their body, their looks, which is the reason why many of these relationships don't last for a long time, because there is no deeper level of connection. There's only a connection on a physical intimacy level. That's it. There is no deeper connection than that. That's why you, at some point, are not going to be better than the next piece of ass that the man is attracted to. Because your looks are going to get boring. But what never will get boring is how you treat a man. But what... Man. Yeah. So, shout out to this sister. And they keep calling her... They don't want to compete. And she keeps saying Western, modern Western women. And all these women are automatically assuming that she's talking about black women. Because the shoe fits and they are the hit dogs. And that's just, just that. I don't, like the, I don't like the way she talk. It's just, she just said uh, her vernacular just turns me off. So what? What's wrong with the way I, she talk? I, I, I just don't like the way she talk. I don't, I don't like women who talk like that. The piece of ass, that kind of, that kind of, I don't like that kind of Or what? 
No, I'm sorry. What? I said she too confident or what? No, I just don't like women who talk like men who 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 say things that men would say, as opposed to a woman. Like she said, well, the next piece of ass. I cringe when I hear women talk like that. Nothing she said was out of the ordinary. Did she get this kind of backlash from the white women? No. She said modern women. So she yep. was talking about all modern women. I'm not I'm not offended because it, it's not me, so I don't care one way or the other. But I mean, I guess if you if you if you're the person that she's describing, then you would be hurt and you would be you would be hurt and you need to correct yourself, right? I mean, she that's who you that's who that message is for. That message is for women that need that kind of message who don't treat their men. Well, let me ask you, what what percentage of women mm. what do you think that could apply to? Like who if you talk about modern women, we talk about 90% of modern women. You mean now all white women, black women, China, any woman that's in a Western society is is, is what <coughs> she's talking about. She's just not talking about black women. She's talking about the white women. You see white women all the time on on TikTok. Hey, hey, hold on. Crazy. I have Asian friends that have hot girl summers. They right. go to Vegas. They party. They rip it down. You know. And what let you me do this real quick. All <laughs> those women. Do y'all see? Do y'all see how fast the woman in the video? They keep misconstruing her words. Even the woman in the video sat there and said, right. oh, you know, black man, you're a black woman. She keep making it about race. And then she come back on the camera and she say modern Western women. Well, she I don't think the other lady said anything about black women. She just said she just yes, said, she did. Did she yeah, say let something about black women? Listen, listen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, maybe listen, I, wasn't, I really listen. wasn't listening to her. I was, you know. Pay attention, heathen queen. <laughs> Here we go. My lady, you know. that out. Listen to her. It's called hospitality and competition. Who found an average black man? That's what you call them. An average black man from America. Right. Bought him any and everything he could possibly want, even things he didn't think he wanted. Mm -hmm. You wait on him hand and foot. And you had the nerve to come on here and say, it was easy because black women don't do nothing. Because black women don't do nothing. She didn't say nothing about y'all. Yes, they hit dogs will holler. Correct. She did not say that. She interpreted. She's in. I guess she's bringing it from her perspective. I guess no. she's bringing it from her perspective no. as a black woman. No. So, well, what other no. perspective would she take it from? Woman. She's she, a black listen woman. Listen to what she said. She assumed. That that sister said that she said she said black women don't do nothing. That sister never said nothing about no melanated woman. No, of never. course she didn't. That's what so, I'm saying. So of you course. can't say she's taking it from her perspective. She she's just taking it from it her about, perspective. She made That's it the only about perspective her. she can take it from. It's her perspective. If we a white that. woman, if a white woman addressed it, then it would be from what her perspective. You're saying incorrect. You don't when you say that you're making her right and it's still wrong. It's not her perspective. That that wasn't given. She said she put words in that sister's mouth. Yeah, but, you can't but say that. We don't, know, we don't know what this sister. We don't know what she meant. We know what she meant. Wait, no, you no, we, it don't matter what she meant. No matter what she said. She, she said, said modern that. women. So that means she's talking right. about Asian women. She's talking about okay. white women. Yes, the German woman. woman. The right. German woman is right. yes is talking, she's talking about, about modern all women. women. Black, but white, Mr. Walker age. is saying that the woman that has the retort back to her right. with the blonde hair, right. she's making it about race. And I'm saying, and I'm saying, saying she's addressing it from her perspective. No, stop saying that. That's, That's incorrect. She's putting well, words earlier, in her mouth. I don't know what other perspective she would take it from. She's no, she's there. putting words. She never said that. She's saying the woman said things she never said. Don't say that's her perspective. She's making no, those. So she so modern woman doesn't include black women. Well, let me ask you yeah. this: Is there a such thing as y'all speaking to each other? Woman to woman? Why, <laughs> why would you immediately go to race when it's a woman to woman? I'm not going to race. That's not what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm saying the did. black woman is saying well, listen, she's addressing her you, black race. You said, a white woman can address hers. You or said what other perspective? You said what other perspective can she have? The perspective other of than a her woman. race. 
of she's a black. woman. No, it's gender based. It got nothing to do with a race. She's black. She cannot talk no, to a white that's woman. That's no problem. Did y'all hear that? The black woman will separate herself from every other gender being, what everything. Y'all are your own, your own entity on earth. So what difference does that make? Whether she or she uh, says black or white or whatever. She said she, modern. So that includes black, Hispanic, Chinese. That includes all of them. So yes. she's coming from her perspective. She's black. She's coming from the black perspective. If no, there was an never, oriental woman, if there was an oriental woman, I would expect the oriental, oriental woman to say yeah. something about an Asian woman. I, I don't understand. What but, okay, but here we go. Here we go. No other race of women made negative uh, review videos about that. No, no nobody else but the black women? Right. Yeah. So there yeah. were no Asian women that said anything. There were no white women that said anything. They weren't negative about it at all. No, because because the, the shoe primarily fits what the one. Hell? <laughs> if I was a white woman, I'd be so I'd be highly offended about that. Okay, but, if but I wait, was Oriana, only, I'd only be highly fit, offended about what that woman said. The, you will be offended only if the shoe fits. Only a head dog go She said modern women. Oh, well, real quick, real quick, go ahead, Mister Wilson. What you got? Um. Yeah, before I forget, guys, um, black women, all jokes aside, mm -hmm. you got to do something about the weed, especially that blonde wig or whatever, because all jokes aside, now you see that lady? There was a guy, uh, he went to jail the other night or whatever. Seriously, it's not that, yeah, he, he could have, he passed for a woman. And so guys more and more are not talking to black women because of this shit also. You got to get rid of that shit there because, um, oh, there's another video. Two women went out. Uh, the one lady, she had the fake hair. It was all whatever, purpley, whatever color it was. And her friend had the hair natural. More men talked to her friend and didn't talk to her. And the lady with the uh, colored hair or whatever, she did have a nice body and kind of nice face. But because her hair was all colored and the makeup and shit, Guys wouldn't talk to her. And so, uh, ladies, really, you got to ditch that shit. Uh, oh, and one more thing I wanted to say. Now, here's the one thing the German lady was wrong, uh, at least in my own experience. You know, all vagina ain't the same. Some is better than <laughs> others. And uh, that's, that's all I wanted to say. But what's your take on this woman? Why do she... Why are black women think this woman is talking about black women when she didn't say black women? Well, it's like you said, brother man, hit dogs will holler. I mean, it's just that simple. I mean, we know how our women are and other black women know how uh, the, the women who look like them are too. They just, they just don't want to admit it for whatever reason. There's nothing bad about it at all. You know what I mean? Like us as men, we have no trouble with talking about each other and telling us what the deal is, because wrong is wrong and right is right. I mean, it's really just that simple. Mm. You know what I mean? This sisterhood is so strong, and it's a detriment to the community. But it's a, but it's more importantly, it's a detriment to the individual themselves. I mean, like seriously, like these women talk about they want to be married and they want to do this, that, and the other, but they aren't putting in any work to do so. I mean, if you ask me. The modern woman today in the Western society is lazy as hell. Mm -hmm. and Wait a minute. I, and Didn't you just and, say, were, were you addressing modern women or were you addressing black women? Because well, I, I just want to be clear. Okay, the lady with the blonde hair was addressing black women. You addressing black women too? Or are we, are we addressing her the modern day, the modern women? Because I heard the lady say modern. I didn't hear her say anything about black, white, or Hispanic, right? Well, me personally... I'm addressing modern women in general, but black women in particular, because the results okay. speak for themselves. Right. I there mean, so, so the lady with the blonde hair, so the lady with the blonde hair she is addressing it just like you, right? Well, no, she's addressing it from a completely different perspective because she's a hit dog hollering. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> man, she's still you addressing it just like you. Him. You're not about to make it. Just like him. He put words in that German word in that German lady's mouth. We ain't gonna act like she'd seen it from Wait her. Man, ain't he doing the same thing? What are you talking oh. about? 
We are, oh, we we are no. <laughs> I'm addressing what she said. The black yeah. woman said. I ain't got the, the the German lady was speaking facts. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The German lady ahead. was speaking facts, man. It, I mean, the women today are lazy, and the reason why is because they don't respect men. They don't they don't think we're as valuable as we really are. But let some shit break down. Like, oh, I need a man to do this. I need a man to do that. But okay, you can have one, but you choose not to change your attitude or anything else that is very unbecoming for you to get one. Just Most that simple. People are not even in competition. I don't, I don't even know why she's talking. She they they talk about they don't want a black man. You can be a passport bro. You can go this and do that. And then when they do that, they're mad. You don't want us, but yet you don't want nobody else to have us either. First right of refusal, brother. <laughs> Yeah, Wait that's minute, why I think say, everybody's mad at that German lady because she wants a black man and she's right. she actively pursued it and she's actively trying to keep him. And I think that is just like that is it just I mean, the way people look at my mom and dad out in the world is not nice. <laughs> you know, nobody mm -hmm. likes that. And I get it. It's weird. You know, it's weird for someone coming up in a situation like that. But. I, I just think it's they just don't like it because she is European and she's saying it about a man like Solomon said that they are not seeing any value in. So it's like, mm -hmm. how dare you come in here and say that our dirty toys that we don't want are actually valuable? You know, like, no, you all are valuable. Everyone around the world loves you from the Philippines to anywhere you want to go. You well, let's know, not, let's, not, let's not get outrageous with it. Don't be mad. He's a quick get outrageous with it now. Get on my head already. Get outrageous with it now. I know a lot of men in my family have been soldiers, and a lot of their friends are soldiers, being Marines, Navy, whatever. I don't know a lot of Air Force men, but I mean, they pick women from all around the world. I, I you know, Asian, it's a lot of Asian and, and black kids on the army base in any, any country you go to, you know, Asian women, they will, they will come, you know, from the Philippines, not speaking any English, don't know nothing about America. They will come to Bowen homes, whatever ghetto, you know, you put them in and they will thrive. They will come here and they will thrive. They will get their families to the promised land, to a nice house in Gwinnett County. You know what I mean? I just, I don't, I don't know. Like, why do, it's this this pick me thing. It's like, what do y'all want men to just bow down and let you pick them and you tell them how they're going to be with you like that? Yeah. Men don't work like that in no society. No society. Bonquisha is too good to compete, especially for the man she's talking about. You want a top 10 percent, 1 percent man and, and you're not willing to compete. And and you hear him all, all the time. I rather buy a dog and die alone. I rather be by myself. Well, go ahead then. be by yourself. Shut the hell up. Don't be out here making YouTube videos. If you rather be by yourself than be with a quality man and compete, then go ahead and enjoy your preference. Be by yourself. This generation is out there. This generation is going to be out there. Cause <laughs> we, cause ain't nothing to say because there ain't, there ain't no woman compete. They are not competing like that. They just will not compete like that. And, and that's it why, is what it is. They don't. That, they don't care because you. You keep saying I, I'm. I'm good. I'm a good man, and I'm the one percent. I'm this, that, and the other. That means nothing because they're not going to compete because they don't. They don't feel like they have to. That's right? why they got nug nug. That's why they on Kendra crying for men to come in and and marry them after they got five kids and shit like that. As long as y'all got, long as y'all got traders and traders on your side, it ain't gonna matter. Listen, Pookie ain't never been on our side. Pookie all by himself. Pookie all, himself. Is all on the, they're on their own team. They're not really. really I, 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 that is the one thing that I just don't understand. Why is it that you feel like Pookie is somebody special? Pookie ain't nobody special. Correct. A lot of y'all got Pookie behavior. Stop. Yeah. Who's what are I mean, a lot of men have Pookie behavior. Pale Pookies. Regular pookies, a lot yeah, of y'all got failed pookie behavior. Y'all got pookie by himself. He, he's not employed. 
say, well, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna be no pookie. Y'all pookies, you do pookie yeah. behavior. Top ten percent men are pookies. Who's y'all? It's a lot of y'all got pookie behavior. The men that they're asking for is not pookie. The men they're asking for are the men they can't get. Pookie is their baby daddy. That's why they three for three on Kendra looking for Mr. Top 10% and 1%. It's a regular dude. That 10% dude ain't no regular dude either. That's what dude. I'm saying. He's not Pookie. Talk about Pookie. Pookie. Pookie already been there. He, he done got it. He got the first bite at the apple. By the time she gets to Mr. 1%, she's already used up. Pookie done yeah, beat us to it. That's a fact. Let me see, uh, right quick. I want to say that's so I true, Salomon. I'm just going to keep you in a, lot, uh, a secret. The secret is a lot. reason why women ain't going to come over there is because there's a lot of pooky behavior in you regular average guys. And so that's what I hear is that y'all still got pooky behavior. They just y'all said the money that you guy. make, they you got pooky the average guy. The guy who puts on a uniform and goes to work every day, who's a good guy, he's not into crime, he's not doing drugs or anything like that. They don't value him. They think they better than him. Even when they make the same money or less money than him, they still overlook him for Mr. 10 and 1% who don't, who they're not even in competition for. So my question is, what you going to do about it? I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to leave Bon Cuis over. That's what I'm you. saying. You ain't going to do nothing about it and she ain't going to do nothing about it either. So where we at? We're we not, we we not on the internet crying for, hey, I want a woman who's blowed out, who got three baby daddies. We not on the internet. But we don't have to worry, but you don't have to worry about that. Cause you got traitors on your side that will do the job that you ain't gonna do. Pookie is not on my side. <laughs> Pookie is one of y'all. No, he's, not. <laughs> he's not Mr. Ten Percent. He's not Mr. One Percent. Pookie is not on our side. Ain't nobody <laughs> get. Ain't nobody no one percent. One percent act up just like a two, like a ten percent or the bottom twenty percent. That one percent man. Not. That one percent man act just like a regular, regular average dude. Why would I be faithful to, to Bon Quisha? She already let two dudes get a bite at the apple for free. Why am I gonna pay top dollar for a used product? What you're talking oh. about. She don't she don't worry about getting married. What do you mean? Okay, and that's Man, why she's not married. She, married. she got three baby daddies and her dog. We ain't doing that. Let me know in the comment section, everyone, if you agree with following statement. The average modern Western woman just doesn't want to put in any effort into a relationship. They don't want to put in that work in a relationship. They don't want to contribute what is necessary as a woman in a relationship. They don't want to invest in a man. And I'm not talking about that financial investment. I'm talking about emotionally and mentally, okay, and whatever needs to get done at home. Instead of that, you have all these women running around and all they want to provide is themselves, their body, their looks, which is the reason why many of these relationships don't last for a long time because there is no deeper level of connection. There's only a connection on a physical intimacy level. That's it. There is no deeper connection than that. That's why you, at some point, are not going to be better than the next piece of ass that the man is attracted to. Because your looks are going to get boring. But what never will get boring is how you treat a man. But when us women can comfort a man on an emotional and mental level, be loyal, respectful, nurturing, and catering, sooner or later, and I promise you this, that man is going to start caring about you on a whole different level on a whole different level. I'm sure some women who have actually applied this will be able to say that in the comment section if any of them is watching my content. So therefore, if you only provide your looks, another woman that's going to come into his life who may end up looking better than you is gonna have his attention. But if he can connect to you emotionally, that's a whole different level. Believe it or not, us women have the power to turn a good man into a better man. And I know that a lot of women felt triggered by the things that I have said, but at the end of the day, it kind of seems like that you are mad at the fact that women like myself have a happy relationship. We have what you don't have. And I don't say this to attack you. I'm just saying you can have what we have. It's really not that hard. Right. So women like myself, we enjoy catering to our men. And at the same time, we can enjoy the benefit of being the woman of a providing man, of a protective man, of a guiding man. And I will not stop stressing to the world and especially to you women that there is nothing wrong with an average man. 
an average man deserves respect too. An average man, just as average as you are, deserves a daily cooked meal too. He deserves that you take his towel into the bathroom right along with a fresh pair of boxers and some socks mm -hmm. before that man comes out of the shower. Have you ever? I'm gonna stop it for a second because she's hitting on what that woman was saying. The sister with the blonde wig, she said, you doing all this for an average man? And Bonquisha and them say, I would only do this. They won't do it at all, first of all. But they will say they will only do it if they were dating the Prince of England. She says, you doing all this for an average man. You a joke, sis. And that's why one out of five of them will ever be married in their life. And they're going to be baby mamas. Most of them. Exactly. That, that shaming tactic don't work, son. Stop. stop it's it. it. <laughs> just the observable reality. I see baby showers on Facebook every day. Not a single man in them photos. Mm. And it ain't working. So. I see Christmas photos every year. Don't see the same man or see no man. Kids I all know. what she said. I what know. she said is okay. I mean, what she said is what she said is good. I just I just don't like people who who paint who paint their whole life as being a being a fantasy or being a a um being perfect. When it when it, it's not like that, that's not how relationships. Well, that's how you interpret it. You gotta go check. Oh no, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure relationships. She claimed to be perfect. She claimed. Oh to be no, perfect. hold on. She been with her husband for 20 years. If you, what? you know, she yeah, she been with this man for 20 years. Oh, she, oh okay, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah look, you know, look. This is the messenger. She's the she's look. her. She's talking about the trajectory of their relationship over the years, how yeah. she got them, how she's keeping them. So if y'all don't want to listen about how to get a black man to keep them, then don't listen. Yeah. Go ahead and collect the intangibles for me. It's no intangibles for me. And that's what she said, Mr. Walker. She said, I had to compete. She said, when he first came over here, there was other women looking at him. She said, I had to do all this stuff to stand out from all of y'all. That's how it goes. Just how a man has got to do his part to stand out to his woman mm -hmm. it goes the, it goes the same way unless if you want that caliber of man that sister was very adamant she said i know other women want my man when right. we out i see them looking at my man i ain't got to guess and women like that they do that's very fulfilling to them for whatever reason and she, but she knows she has to compete at least by competing it you just being a woman you're being his wife you're being for him and Raquel, you said something about the whole pick me thing i wanted to touch on but he the queen won't ever let me talk <laughs> but the pick women would get on other women for being pick me's because it does take vulnerability and these modern women that are not strong enough to be vulnerable they're gonna pick and poke fun at the women that are strong enough for a woman to say i need a man i cherish my man that's vulnerable because now that man is in position he can hurt you the people we love the most are in the best position to hurt us and, and that's understood so today's modern folks they refuse to be vulnerable because they are cowards now how about that for some sad language <laughs> well mr walker you heard them earlier today on the show they won't even do it for mr one percent even if he's paying all the bills they still don't want to do it so why the hell would they do it for an average man who's splitting it 50 50. they don't it, see the it, logic in that who don't, don't want to do what for one percent guy who don't want to do what? Cook, clean do laundry i heard you earlier oh, no no the, you didn't hear me ever say anything about not, not doing what i was supposed to do with the chores you, you don't want to come wait a minute. You, you didn't wait a minute you didn't hear me say queen was to the opposite of that she actually said she prepped her meals she 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 was cooking for her family and sat them down at the table so i, I never said anything about what i would not do when i was it there. was the other person it was, tyranny, it was tyranny who may have said something different i can't remember what she said but I, you, know, you were still on the bandwagon as as the man still got to do some of the chores and stuff like no, that. No, I did not say that. What I said was the man has to spend time with his children. He can't do it. Why well, y'all be acting like the what man? You mean that's a given? Nothing. Y'all be acting like the man just go in the house and just disappear and then reappears in the morning and go to work. Men already doing that. Come on, cut it out. No, no. You have to make it. You have to make it clear that that's what it, uh, a one percent man is going to do. 
a Muslim man is he going to spend time with it is he going to spend any time with the child of course i expect that i expect it because that's what i say needs to be done in a relationship i didn't say i got i'm not doing anything i never said that i never said i would do, not do anything i said we are in a relationship where we have to do things together to make the whole work so if i need you to throw a load of laundry in the thing and that's all i need you to do then that's what i need you to do regardless of whether you're the one percent man or not right this is a this is a we are no, we're on a team regardless. together no it's not regardless. and that's my whole point you're saying no i'm saying we're on a team i'm saying we're a team you you want to you want your relationship to work right so therefore if i if i say hey hon can you throw that in the laundry and you say hell no i'm the one percent man you expect him to you expect that relationship to last that. nobody says that come on <laughs> okay yes. so, why you why you why you put that picture he he ain't got to say I ain't doing it. I'm, so, I'm okay. So we're man. we're a partnership. No stop, no, stop, stop. He ain't got to say it. he ain't there. He ain't available. He ain't got to say it because he's too busy working. But he if you ain't working on doing. Saturday and Sunday, and I say, dear, can you throw that load in the huh? <laughs> Well, first of all, we talk about a 0.1 percent man. One, they got um people coming. What he talking house. about? He's talking about one. Well, listen. What I'm saying is, when you talk about one percent man, neither one of them doing laundry. They a lot of the stuff is paid for. So my point is the exactly. thing is so the thing is outside of that she she's not doing her duties he's he's paying all the bills and providing the lifestyle she has an obligation to keep up with this stuff of course a woman has an obligation to keep up with that if you were married to most people are only going to be married to average joe blows so therefore you're going to have to cook clean you're going to do all that and he's going to contribute with that cooking and that cleaning whenever he he can dive in and do what he got to do this is a this is a group effort this is a team that we're working together you don't okay. just get to come home and lay in the bed and just go to work there's other things we got children little children you have to nurture you have to talk to you have things you have to do regardless of how many hours you want it all right i've done that before but instead of that a lot of women have the audacity to say that catering to a man is a trauma response excuse me but catering to each other is the beauty of a relationship and I can sense that a lot of you have never been in a real relationship because you continuously run to a toxic man and then you get treated like shit and then you are in the circle that is full of toxicity and you cannot get out of it but when you're staying in the circle and you refuse to be receptive to new information to be kind to be soft-spoken to be catering you cannot expect different results. I'm not saying not for you to go out there to get your degree and your career. It is a good thing. Actually, it's a must. We have to stay educated. That's a must. But at the end of the day, you can still be submissive. And do you know how much of a flex that is to have a nice degree, to have a good career, to make your money, but also be completely in your feminine energy? And let me tell you, everyone will pick up your feminine energy when you go anywhere you go. They will pick it up. And then you will attract the right type of man as well. There is nothing wrong with being kind. Smiling is for free. I mean, you have all these women running around with a bitchy attitude, negative energy, and the only thing that they know how to smile at is their phone. And you mean to tell me that there's nothing wrong with that picture? You're doing too much. It's giving... Why would why would any one of us want to subject ourselves to that? No, honey, you are doing too less. And she really said that it's getting slave. But here is what she doesn't understand. I don't get any orders. I do everything that I do, not only for my husband, for everyone in my family, naturally, because that's what I have learned. Ladies understand. Man. Oh. Here we are. She said, you sound like a slave. You over there taking care of an average man. Why would you, an average guy, Mr. Walker? Oh. <laughs> you average ninjas. Ladies, understand how your melanated man is perceiving this. He like, holy cow. I'm not worthy of basic human decency from my female counterpart. Like, under we shall can hold down Pookie for years in jail. Won't go yep. 50, 50 with yes. you, but we'll wait for Pookie for three, four years, put money on his books. What you call that? 
being a real one, holding them down. Yeah, and see, after they get done with those pookies and, and being ride or dies, as they like to say, then whenever they say, you know what? I done had Ray Ray's two kids, his cousin's kids. Now, now I'm ready to settle down. And now I got standards. Like, we keep saying it sounds like broken records, but it's it's just crazy. It's crazy. I- then you got to be ready to box at the barbershop afterwards. You got to go take some classes. So so what you thinking, Brother Trey? I know you've probably seen this video. What's your take on all this? Yeah, I, I, seen, I actually watched her interview, I think it was yesterday also, where she sort of clarified some things. And it's just, you know, it's, it's hard to believe that we're here in a sense as far as pertaining to the women because I always thought the black women – were the standard of personality and beauty and things like that, you know, being able to cook, all of those things that I grew up on with my mom. I thought she couldn't tell me sisters couldn't do that shit, but then I have sisters. They gases can't cook, but they all got married. So they was doing something, whatever. Uh, and now here it is. Um, I have a young adult son and it's like, what he's hearing and seeing is like really scary. You know, and she's speaking from a, she's not in America, but she's dealt with America. I, I believe she's probably visited and saw some of the behaviors that are exemplified. Exemplif- and I don't think sisters understand that a lot of these wretched shows that represent the worst of y'all, those are the shows that are seen around the world. They run them down shows 24 seven. And when they give them their new passport to come to America, they saying, don't you get your ass over and act like them black women. Don't do it. You can't go be able to come back over here. You're going to be messing around with the worst of them. And, and they understand that on code. However, sisters, this is a very important time in y'all life right now. I don't know what y'all looking at. I don't know what y'all looking at. If things go the way they trying to set it up, y'all going to be out on the street, a lot of y'all. Brothers are doing exactly what they need to do. Stay working, stay focused. My only thing is, listen, your ass under 40, you should be the strongest little 40 motherfucking year old out there. Get in a little better shape for yourself because I did it. We all worked around. You can hang out with each other, get in good shape. And if you, listen, because when you build up your stamina, it makes you feel a little better. You know what I'm saying? Health is serious. A lot of y'all don't go to the doctor, eat healthier. But as far as women around the world, you don't really have no debt. Why not get your passport? Go check it out. Go check it out. Go check out all the women around the world and find one likes you. And, you know, it can it can change to y'all dynamic for the greater good. But sisters, some of y'all gonna have to make a deal. Y'all better get, y'all see what happened. Y'all, okay, just the recent incident with the lady where the police ran up on her. Listen, they've been doing that to brothers for years, right? So if they're going to do it to women in their home, that means women are unprotected. They're unprotected. And if y'all unprotected, then it I don't know how scared y'all are, but this should be wake up sign for y'all to find a man that you know is going to go to work and get his ass on before eight o'clock before the game come on. That's the type of man you're going to need in your life. You, you pick a Thursday night, get your ass home before 11. But if y'all think y'all going to keep running around like that, y'all lives are going to be in danger because immigrants are coming. They coming. They coming for y'all fancy $3,000 apartment. But you can get a $3,000 mortgage with a man and let your kids grow up and you can teach them how to read because they struggling with this breakup. With this split unity, y'all young adults, man, Y'all got to find a way. Sisters, a man wants you by default. You know, stop talking about y'all. Go tell your mamas the shit y'all tell guys. Go tell your mamas that. That's who y'all mad at. Go tell her. They're right. the ones who teach the daughters and the granddaughters, hey, go to college. We were a slave by our husbands. We were oppressed. Go to college. Get your education. You don't need a man, right? Which is a fallacy because every woman need a man. You turn on your water is is being run by men. You turn on your light is being run by men. You basically trade the man for the government. Your car is invented by men, is created by men, and when you go get it maintained, it's a man who's maintaining it. 
So every woman who say, oh, I don't need a man, it's a fallacy. Everything around you is built and maintained and run by men. So you can't say the police is a man. If a man broke into your house, you want a man to come and save you. So for you say, oh, I don't need a man, is it? But it's our grandmothers and great grandmothers who taught our daughters, they stay independent. And basically, this is what perpetuated in society. No, don't, don't blame your right. 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 grandma. Hold on, hold on. How many times you know, men have taught their daughters the same thing? So HQ, HQ, do women need men in 2024, HQ? Of course, women need men, but you can't blame all of that independent stuff on grandma and grand and mom. Men, you you know you when you had a daughter, you told your daughter to get herself educated, get herself together, and do what she got to do so she can take care of herself. Don't just blame that on mom and grandma. Men have taught their daughters that same thing. You ain't taught her to the get. Exception get, doesn't get, prove the rule. That, y'all, that's the y'all ain't no, no, it ain't no exception. All. All men have made sure that they said their daughter need to be able to take care of herself. And do that's, not like that's not true. That's yeah, not true. Don't include no, the part that you don't can't need a man. That women. No, they don't include true. the part that you don't need a man. We, I only hear this from women. Go to college, wait till you're 30, put your head down, and then when you're 30, no, you, then you, you can you cut a man from a tree. You, you, that's but, basically but, what they tell them. But but fellas, I'm 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 a no, you don't. In, in regards to HQ on this, listen, she Gen X like me. So we was getting the message, go to college. So some of that, even husband was like, baby, go get your college degree, da, 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 da. So our generation, yes. But listen, we never did teach this don't be feminine shit because every girl, whether they had long hair, short hair, was feminine. The, the, the funniest looking girls and the funniest looking dudes always had somebody under their arm. Trey, yeah. other races of women go to college and find their husbands. Why is only black that. women go to college and not find their husbands? Today, yes, because they're going to preach that independence. You know how much money is made? Okay. Not that they you get away. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's, that's now you're starting point. to blame women. You're starting to blame women that they can't find husbands. If they go to college, why why our, our, our college educated women can't couldn't seem to find husbands when they I'll tell you why I'll tell you why if you let me tell you I'll tell you why I'll tell you why I'll tell you why because they didn't they didn't prioritize it that's yeah. just a fact when I when I, I, posit, I posit I posit that it's more y'all pookies than y'all than it no. really. 54% of men are are childless 54% no there's another 30% no. of men are Walker. That's not a true statistic. Stop yes, it is. No, it's not. It's true. It's based, it's based on birth certificates. No, birth certificates. Yeah, that's true. Yo, a lot of pookies don't run in there and sign no, no birth certificate. No. A lot of people don't <laughs> run in there and sign no birth certificates. Bro, this is from the census. You don't even know where the data comes from. That's not, that's not true. This. Hey, hey, let me get in here. Let me get in here. HQ, we know we have been on that rabbit hole. Go ahead, Rock. We want to get Raquel in here. Let her go. I think. So remember I was talking about the friends and they're all from different places. And I just, I'm looking at all of us in college and I can just say that it seems like some women prefer to extend their whole culture days, right? Like certain demographics of women say these four years, I'm going to, go hard in the paint, right? But as that clock starts winding down, they're getting it out. And they're also like, who am I going to settle down with? Because at the end of this four years, the likelihood that I'm going to meet a man that I'm going to know is on my level diminishes because we're not in this university anymore. We're not at West Georgia or wherever school you're at. Like it comes the like those football players that were the hardest in the gym and the finest, like you're not going to be around them when you graduate college. So if you don't get one of those guys, your whole summers, your hot girl summers, they go down and down and down. And I, I don't think that some of my friends considered that. I think they were just thinking that hot girl summer would last for as long as they felt like they could just, you know, 
I, I think they thought that they were going to be able to snatch someone off the shelf and make that man marry them. And that is not what happened. Wait like a wait you a minute, stayed wait a out there I too long. Well, and then the guys are like, you're not wifey material anymore. So that's why you're not that's getting That's not how that happens off. in college. That's not Amen. how it happens in why, why ain't they getting married in college? I'll tell when you. When they fresh out the I'll back, tell you. They, when they fresh out the I'll back and they ain't got no kids, why ain't they getting married? I tell they, you. They can't be the only person that makes the decision to get married. Only the man him. gotta want to marry her too. Why ain't the man? Why ain't the man snatching her up? You're, if if no you're in college and you're 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 messing with the professors or men outside of college and you're not like being strategic but about that's not, that's your black women that, that's all women that's not just black women no. not I'm, not, I'm not saying that uh, we only worry about the saying, i'm not saying it's just black women i'm and saying it's not that a lot of percentage of them either with women that i know I would say that it seems like a certain demographic of women extended their whole summers outside of college and have just been like Kevin Samuel said, riding the carousel. And they think that when they decide to step off the carousel, that's when some eligible bachelor that is on their level is going to make them a wife. That is not happening. The guys are like, you're a hoe now. You stayed out here too long. You really can't offer me anything because it, the proof is in the pudding. Most of them have children by men they're not married to. Exactly. So you, we're, you we're not talking about we're not talking about men, women who've had children. We're talking about people in college. The men are not marrying the women black from women the college. The most it's not no, men no. Women, black black women, women are women not getting married. Get married. People with the most children. That's they don't fact. go to college with children. They don't go to it's college like that with children. Even the women without kids, y'all say y'all don't want a roommate. You can't go 50-50 with a man. Why 22-year-old do you know can pay all so the well, bills? Why, why isn't a 23-year-old guy marrying his 22-year-old girlfriend? Why ain't he doing that? Oh. The woman don't want to marry him. She's dating 30. She don't want to marry him. Yes. Because she don't want a roommate. She want a full provider, a man to pay all the bills. How much does a 22-year-old got to make to pay all the bills? She okay. don't want to be a, uh, not, okay. It's all the woman's fault. Okay, it's, I get it. that point. And, yeah, and yet, and still, and that guy right there just said that all the women he run across keep saying that the men ain't shit. Why are the women saying that? No, if there's no, no okay, truth wait, wait, wait. to that, you're let's dodging let's the point. Fire. You're dodging ain't the no point. truth to that. That's just a no, lie. Yeah, they they right? are, there is truth to that, but that the men that they deal with ain't shit. The men they deal with, and, and they I deal with it's more y'all pookies than what you saying. Okay, so what no, percentage okay. of men are pookies? So what no. percentage of the men are pookies? Go ahead. Yes, Tell go me. ahead, Claire. Let's go. Eighty percent of y'all. Oh dang, guys! <laughs> Come on, man. He just did that. That's, wild. Up, That's wild. That's wild. You I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, just as many uh women who are in the whole culture. Is it just as many pookies? Most, 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 most men don't get played. Most men in general don't get played. Most men don't get played. Only 5% of men on dating apps get swiped right on. Most men don't get played. So when you say majority... What do you mean get played? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Sex. Cat. Cat. Sex. sex. Most men don't get sex, period. Right. In every right. race. So don't See, come and sit here and convince me like it. most men. The stats shows it. See, most men I don't can't get dispute played. that when you say most men don't get sex. See, I can't dispute that because why is it that all these women keep getting sex, but they only get they it from sex the, the same guy. guy? They only get it from the same guy. guy or the lower percent. None That's of y'all in the middle, like 80% of y'all in the middle. They don't want the guy in the middle. They want top 10% or bottom 10%. They don't want the, they don't want the other 80 <laughs> Yes, yes. yes. Oh, we, so we, 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 we talked about the question. How does a 22 year old college grad build with a woman that says she doesn't want a roommate? She wants him to pay all the bills. How does he win that woman over? What type of job does a 22 year old who just graduated college can get to pay all the bills? 22 to 30. He just graduated. He's in the same college as the girl. They both got their degree. He wants to date her. She goes, I don't want to date a roommate. I don't want to go 50-50. You got to be provider male. 
can that man who wants to marry that girl date her and marry her? So if you go. So, so he immediately, so he immediately when he hears that, he immediately says, you're not the one for me. Instead of explaining to her how the world works, you just say, oh, she just can't be for me. HQ, I'm explaining to you how we work and you still won't even comprehend it. Why would she understand? Why would she understand you? you I'm, I'm trying to explain to you and you don't try to comprehend. So why would someone who's even younger, hotter in her prime would want to listen? Answer the question is to how does that 22 year old convince the female 22 year old to build and grow with him? But that that's not what I hear from the women. That's the no, 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 no. That's what I'm asking. What I hear from the women. I'm asking you, HQ. They both graduated from the same college. They got the same degree. He wants to build a life with her. How can he do that when she wants that's him to? That's not what I hear from the women. He has the women, to make the money the, of a forty-year-old man. Say, the women exactly. say they don't want. The women say you guys don't want to marry. Exactly. You guys she, don't want to be a woman. It's it's you, you, it's I'm, you. Telling you what, I'm telling you what the women say. The women say you guys don't want to get married. You guys don't want to be tied down. You guys don't want to be sexually disciplined. You guys don't want to wife. That's what I'm saying. There's more married black men than black women. How are we going to black men? That means nothing. Those women are talking about the small group of men are having all the children. They're talking, listen, if if they're talking about that small group of guys who can run through the community. Knocking up five people. That's the guys they talk. Them niggas ain't trying to get married. Yeah, Why would yeah. they? The good guy who's going to work every day so he can get home at five or six o'clock, take off his boots. He wants to get married, but he don't even get looked at. But he's not providing. He's not paying all the bills. He well, ain't shit. Well, well, well that's why y'all got, but that's why y'all got to be a little bit more confident and patient because now you can look other places outside of Bonquisha's. Y'all talking about the girls y'all went to high school with, and now they blowed out. It's a fresh, it. it's fresh, beautiful women all over. Just go four hours north, south, east, and west. You might find one looking for a big bearded brother to walk up on her, and that'll be you. I agree, Trey. But HQ, I want you to answer the question though. If there are more black married men, how does that dispute the point that black men want to be married? Well, because you're your lower, your rate is lowering just like women's rate. Of marriage is lowering. So okay, let's talk. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's talk about it now. Again, there's 500, there's half a million more black men married. How does that dispute the point that black men want to be married? Name how many men under the age of 25 are married. It doesn't matter. What's the percentage? It doesn't because matter. That's the you're talking about college aged men. We were talking about. No, college. we're talking about in general. No, no. I'm talking about college age men who oh. don't want to marry their girlfriend. He can't afford a marriage. He can't afford to pay all the bills. He's 25. He can't pay a mortgage, insurance, car note, car insurance. But then you get mad at her you because moving she the got to wait. You, this is what's moving. Then this is what's mad at her because, because she got to wait. You moving the goalpost, B. You moving the goalpost. There we go. Let me get in here. Let now you mad at her because she got to wait. Let me get this super chat. Because those same women that wouldn't did us when we're 22, now they're begging for us when we're 32. Those same women begging right now. Listen, and I, I, tell, I tell this to my women friends all the time. The dudes who's in their 20s, they're not competing at, with me in my 30s because those women don't look at those guys. They don't. They don't care to, to, to entertain those guys. That's mm -hmm. the facts. That's just the reality of it. Themselves. I will believe you if you are able to show me a society which has been built and maintained by women only. Because until then, honey. Why would why would any one of us want to subject ourselves to that? And for all the black women that came on here like, she's right, she's right. Black women, we aren't feminine. Black women, we aren't catering to our men. Girl, you sound dumb. You sound dumb. You sound very much stupid. And I hope you feel even stupider after finding out this pillar of femininity. Ain't nothing but a low down dirty trick. 
Now you really have to leave women with her type of mindset alone. These type of women, they are not receptive to new information. They don't want to do any better for themselves. They don't want to cater to a man. So you sooner or later have to let them suffer because that is what they choose. Now, I am afraid to say black because my video has turned America upside down without me even addressing black American women. But I will say this. How is she, as a black American woman, wearing a white woman's hair, putting down other black American women who watched my video, who was able to pick up my message, and who are willing to learn, who are willing to be receptive to new information and chose to do better for themselves? How are you going to put those women down? I uh-oh. Oh, man. She about to start some trouble now. I want to get Raquel in here. Raquel, I feel like, have you ever had any these life experiences, like this kind of stuff she's talking about, you getting this type of pushback? Yes, all the time. That's why I wasn't afraid to come up here with you all. But um, I probably wouldn't have said that last comment that she said. She's German, so she's a little bit more stoic and cold and calculated than I could ever be. Um, but uh, I, I don't. I, I. She's dead. She's dead right, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, she's she's right. And the and to the young lady that is coming at her with all this fervor with the blonde snatched lace front that I think is beautiful. When you when you present that way and then you say the things that you're saying, it just comes off as just hatred because you don't qualify. You're not sitting up here natural. You don't have a man. You have an ugly attitude. Look at all of the facial expressions that she's making. They're all harsh and mean and like who who is who is with her you know who is she's with who who is claiming you who is proud to be your man you know like the proof is in the pudding like you don't got it and you're sitting up here mad at this woman because she's trying to expound upon the love she's found in her life and it makes her happy and she's trying to help somebody else be as happy as she is like who could hate on her for that Tyranny was up here earlier talking about how you can't tell your grandma she fat, you know, but why why you can't tell your homegirl like that weave is too long, you know, or your 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 lace front is peeling, you know, like you I tell my girlfriends, you got some in your in your teeth, go clean your nose. Like you when you love somebody, you want to see them aspire to what you know the things that they yes. truly say that they want you want to help them get that so you know i have three degrees shout out to all the girls who who uh, and women who have poured into me to help me become this woman that i am today i feel like i'm supposed to pour into other young women this stuff about being a pick me or not being a pick me you want to get picked and you you want to be a helpmate to a man all this her, other stuff I don't need and I don't get that. So and let me ask you, I want to get HQ real quick. HQ, what's your thoughts? This woman, she say you can't come on screen wearing a blonde wig like a European woman and telling women don't right. listen to her. Oh well, I'm I'm not concerned about I'm not concerned about her weave. I'm concerned about the fact that she's she's denigrating. But, but, but do she have a point though? Do she got a point, heathen queen? That's my question. Who got a point? What do you mean? I thought she, I was, said, she said you come up on screen telling black women not to listen to me while you're wearing the hair imitating a white woman. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't look at that. I'm. I mean, I didn't look at that. I looked at it's, the it's attitude. Pure, it's pure hypocrisy. I looked at the. I looked at the attitude she had. I mean, that's a nasty attitude that you're not. That that you're not really celebrating somebody who. See, the whole point is to have marriage. The whole point is to be married. And when this person, this person got on here and started talking to her about, well, you, you're like a pick me, you're like a slave, you're like a this, that, and a third. I mean, it, it's embarrassing because you don't have the results that she has. I don't like either woman. I don't like the lady with the blonde hair because she's hating on the other woman. And I don't like the arrogant attitude that the other lady has. Okay, so I don't like either one of those women. 
right? Because it, it doesn't, it only takes one, it only takes one mistake. And she's making it seem as though I just got to do this, 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 and this, and oh, a man will stay. That's cute. how that works. Are you saying both of those women are equally detrimental? To the no, no, I didn't say any of that. I said exactly what I meant. Oh, I said what? the lady with the blonde hair is hating on the other lady, and the other lady has the air. Right, let's let's right. speak on. Let's remove it from the middle school playground. We ain't talking about who hating. I said who's most detrimental. Who who can help the community and who's gonna hurt? Well, it's not the a lady with the blonde wig the, is more detrimental. Yeah, the lady okay. with the blonde wig is that because she's hating on the other lady. There's right. nothing to really hate on with the other lady except that arrogant attitude. I get it. You, What's you're, arrogance? You're, 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 I don't understand arrogance. What, what, what is it? Own police. No. Here's the thing. You, this is what I, I said to me. Like, it's arrogant. It's arrogant. There, there, is, there is no one more arrogant. Seriously and headstrong than our melanated sisters. I don't care what you say. And you're gonna say and call that sweet. I guess she's hold on. You asked me for my take, not your take. My no, take. No, my no, take no, is no. she came across as arrogant. She came across as arrogant, and the other lady was hating on her. I said she was hating on her. I said she had had no <laughs> Out the better believes me says HQ. <laughs> I don't pay attention to the weave. <laughs> Take a break so you can focus and pay attention. <laughs> yeah, come on. Hey, but I, I think that most women wouldn't pay attention to the weave if she wasn't trying to make it like a color thing. There you go. You know? there you because go. I wouldn't have said anything about her weave. I, I mean, I think it's really a beautiful wig. Whoever did it, shout out to you. It's looking nice, Lord but. Nice. No, you up no, on no. the screen. I mean, no, for for women that no, we don't like want girls that like wigs, y'all. Uh, yeah, I know y'all don't like them, but black we like them. in their natural state. We're not gonna promote the wigs and their no. hair and their lace fronts. Look, Absolutely not. Take that shit I don't off. Promote and wear wigs. Your natural hair. My natural hair is here. My edges are laid. These are mine. You know, like I'm not. I'm not a weave wearer, but I, I understand that. Some girls have alopecia and they would love to have a wig like that's that. The exception, so I'm not gonna that's, that's, the exception. that's the exception to the rule. Point one percent of the women. Okay, point one percent, but they still exist. And I'm just saying I wouldn't have mentioned her wig if she wouldn't have tried to make it a white and black thing. So the German woman, you gave her kind of like a way into to dig at you like that because you're trying to make it white against black and i don't think that's cool well well like we just seen the video we already pointed out that this this sister here she did that yes she, she yes said, oh you wanna she said you want to come up here and come after black women when the sister never said anything i agree with that she if she wouldn't have if she wouldn't have done that, then we wouldn't be, the German woman wouldn't have said, you the one coming up here with a European blonde wig. You know, you just, you need to stay in your lane. You know, her coming up with the German woman was just, you know, if you had a husband and a successful 20 year marriage and you want to come at her, cool, but you don't. So you, you look like a fool. 